Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll show you guys how to roll over futures contracts so that you always have the front month in your data set. So I went over this code in the previous video, but I thought I'd isolate this topic because I couldn't find any good information online. So I thought I'd just make a, a separate video on this topic. So to start off with, you are going to need futures data and I get mine from bar chart and I have a separate video on how to do that. And each trading day, I have a script that goes and collects this data for me and saves it as an RDS file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read each of those files in using this line here. And we'll take a look at the data by running the second line, which will go through the list of RDS files and read them in. And then I'm going to use rbind list to row bind them together. You can use do call rbind and then the list, but I find rbind list from data table to be much faster. So I'll go ahead and run this and I'll show you what the data looks like and I'm gonna sort by date. So as I mentioned before, I have a script that downloads this data for me every day. So that's why I have duplicates in this data set, but we'll take care of that. So let me find an example where we have multiple dates for different contracts. So here I found an example on March 6th. I have a bunch of rows with the same data, but here we can notice or distinguish that this is the September contract. And I believe this is the October contract. So the way I want to roll this over is I want the front month to be the most traded and that is symbolized by the open interest. So what I'll do is I'm going to group by date and out of that group, I'm going to scan which contract has the most open interest and that will be my front month. So if we go to our script, so here I'm just going to extract all the short names for the futures contracts. And then in this block, I'm going to subset by each individual futures contract using the short name. And then as I explained, I'm going to group by date and then filter by open interest. And I want the contract with the most open interest. And I'll also do the same thing for the volume, just because I noticed in my data set, sometimes it'll subset correctly for the open interest, but I had zeros for volume on some days. So I want to extract the contract with the most volume after I subset for the most open interest. And then after that's complete, I'm going to use a unique to only extract unique rows. So I have about 70 different contracts. So we'll go ahead and run this block. So that's gonna take a few seconds. After that's done running, I'm gonna rbind list. We'll take a look at that data frame. And then we sort by date and we don't have any repeating contracts. So if we go back to our script, so this function will convert all of the futures contracts into an XTS object and I'm only going to extract close, but you can adjust this accordingly depending on what you're trying to do. So I'll go ahead and run this function, and then I'm going to apply this function and then merge all the closes together. And then here we'll subset from 2019 to present. I will make the index unique to strip out the time. And then this wrapper called is business day will only extract Monday through Friday symbolized by this weekday. And I also wanna exclude any NYSC holidays so depending on your data set, you'll want to exclude a range of years or just one year, depending on your data. So I'll go ahead and run this line. And then I'm going to fill in the NAs by using the following two lines. So the first line will take care of the NAs going forward and the NA LOCF from last equals true will take care of any NAs in reverse order. And then finally, just take out the dot close in the column names because I just want the actual contract names. So if we take a look at that data frame, we have all the futures contracts and their closing prices merged together. All right guys, so I hope this video was helpful. I couldn't find any information on how to roll over futures contracts, but this will give you a good start. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.